Hey guys, what's going on? Josh back here. Toby. And today we're going to be doing a video, blacksmithing video, on a Rubik's Twist. You may have seen these before on like decorative um, door handles and stuff like that. Gates. Yeah. Fences that, and stuff. Yeah. That have been properly forged. Well, say properly forged, <laughs> any, you know. You know what I mean? Like anything decorative, you know, pieces and stuff like that. Even on some knife handles and sword <laughs> handles and all that kind of stuff, agree? Yep. Yeah. Um, so, we're just using some 3 quarter 18 mil square bar. 16 mil. Is this 16 mil? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my apologies, 16 mil um, square bar. And um, what we're going to do with this is, as you can see, we've done the line straight down and centered off from an inch on each side. And then we're going to do this Rubik's Cube. So, going along and hope you all enjoyed the video so let's get this project started up with scoring a line so what we're going to do from this stage is an evenish line across the way, four sides, all four sides of this steel, and we're going to make that even line to chisel with on the forge. We then make a mark at 1 inch, 25 millimeters, and then square the line around. On a low heat, we then chisel in and initial the lines on all four sides of the groove. And now it's time to put the chisel to metal and go in there and just make them grooves nice and deep, all even, and clean it all out. Now, if I said I didn't go over to the angle grinder and cut it deeper. I'd be lying. But I did keep true to forging, where is the corners? I did cut them down to the correct depth, so... Hey, I guess we got the best of both worlds there. Stayed true to forging, and still took an easier approach, I guess, in a way. So here's the fun part, measuring out, can anyone hear the sarcasm in my voice? So basically what we're going to do here is, from one line to the other side where we've cut out, we're going to measure, and I think, I believe, I measured in 10 millimeter increments. Um, so I went up every 10 mil, uh, to make it look more square, because you see people when they're more kind of a rectangular shape so you want to keep that Rubik's Cube in the name really in it. Anyway let's get on with it. So this actually is the fun part. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the vise at one end where the chisel might work and we're going to put the twisting jig on the other side of the chisel mark to make sure we've got it even. And I did one full twist, which for me worked out fine, but you're just going to have to mess around with it and different things like that. Keep in mind while doing this, as Toby's got that scaling brush, we're moving on the scale, that's what you want to do. You don't want to build up a scale. And to finish off, I just a little bit of adjusting, a little bit of squaring up, a little bit of truing up just make sure it's all straight and looking good. For me, that one twist did it, but you're just going to have to play around with it like I said. I think it looks pretty damn cool, don't you think?
guys, here is thy Rubik's twist in all glory. Really fun project, fairly simple to make, eh? Yeah. And it's, it's a bit time consuming, but it's a really stunning twist, fairly simple to do. And it'll look good as whatever you put it as. Um, so, yeah, I recommend making one. A few things to learn, a few things you might cock up the first time, but it's definitely really fun. It looks absolutely stunning. So, like this video, comment, subscribe, share, dislike if you didn't like it, and we'll see you in the next one, eh?